the lovely Kelly Brook. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, come and uh, park yourself down there. Guys. Kelly, you look fabulous as always, of course. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. No, no, you smell nice as well. Is that your perfume you're wearing? Uh, yes, it is. Really, it yeah. is really. You're not it's just saying. It's actually the that. new one that's out. You blended last year's. Oh, did I? <laughs> so last year's was rubbish, was it? No, we just improved this is, uh, it. This is what's this one called? Bit. It's called Vivacious. I smell of this. Don't blend that one as well, please. No, that smells like sweets. Yeah, it's got lots of vanilla and berries, and it's for women. Or oh, when you put it <laughs> when you put it on, though, it does smell cheap, doesn't it? It's quite. A, <laughs> it's one of those where it's all right in the shop on a bit of paper. You get it home, Jesus Christ! Are you back on the game, Mum? You know what I mean? It's all right. <laughs> Uh, how lovely to see you. How's your summer been? What do you do with yourself over the summer? Um, what did I do? I went to Greece on holiday. A holiday, okay. Yeah, I hosted a TV show in Virginia, which wow. was good fun. Well that, well, that already sounds different to most people's summer. Yeah. Um, so, uh, a holiday in Greece, uh, yes. and uh, alone, because you're, you're, am I right in thinking you are single? I am single, You're yes. a single girl. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in particular, gentlemen, Kelly Book is single again. Uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> Oh, exciting news for many. Well, no, no, I know we're not cheering. We're not going, yeah, great, she's on her own. <laughs> they mean they're like they're in with a chance. Yeah. No. But... <laughs> well, they are. Well, they are. <laughs> well now, now, how does that work out for you in terms of... Uh, because, listen, <clears throat> I know what it's like. Being naturally attractive, people don't <laughs> always feel comfortable coming up to, to one, do they? And so I wonder whether you do get fellas coming up and feeling like they, they have a shot or whether or not they feel a little bit intimidated by the fact they know you're on TV, they know you've made movies and, and you're a beautiful woman. Does that, do you think you get the attention or the, the offers that you would like? Um, well, to be honest, I haven't had that many offers. I haven't really been out that much. No. But, um, and is that deliberate? You've not been out? You haven't wanted to put yourself out there, so to speak? Not necessarily. I mean, I'm you know, open to meeting somebody, but I'm quite enjoying being single and not being exclusive to one person and just enjoying my space. So lots of casual sex. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really it's want to a, say that, but yeah. There's a fellow that I don't know which one that is. He's actually rubbing his hands together. He's going... <laughs> Yes, you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you want, we're going to have a lot of people sprinting out here very quickly. Let's give it to an answer. Uh, because it was, of course, being well known, uh, you, you know, we, we knew you were with Jason Safe for a while, and then you split from someone that's in the newspapers, and then you were with Billy Zane and that, and then you split. But then you got back together, didn't you? Yes, we did. I actually went on holiday with Billy okay. for a few days. And was that days. just to see whether it would work? or? Just yeah, I think when you're with someone for that long, you do want to give it another go, and we tried. But Billy lives in America and I live here, and it was just too difficult to keep it going. So. I saw a photograph, I don't know what's going on, where you, you went to see him, and he met you at a station holding a bunch of radishes. Yeah. OK, that's not going to work, is it, really? <laughs> Already, what's he thinking? Well, I love radishes. I thought it was quite sweet. You love radishes? Yeah. Watch tomorrow, there'll be a lot of radishes sold in London tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> just on the off chance. Uh, but let, can I just ask you, before we move on from that, I'm not just going to go on about your personal life, but I'm a bit interested. You do seem to go for a specific type of man. <laughs> what, one that's kind of follically challenged? Baldy. <laughs> you like the baldy? I don't like the baldy. Well, you yeah, had two baldies in a row. Come on, it's... Uh... <laughs> there might have been some in between. Just because you don't know about them. <laughs> a couple of hairies. <laughs> do you go deliberately? Is it like baldy, hairy, baldy, hairy? Just to, uh... <laughs> If you walk past the coconut shy, do you do a double take? He's I mean, <laughs> got a bit of both. <laughs> uh, so you don't just go for the baldy then? No. I thought maybe because some ladies love a baldy man. You know, because apparently when you lose the hair, that means you've got a lot of testosterone. They're kind of very virile men. And I thought yeah. maybe you were... Well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see who my next boyfriend okay. is, maybe. Okay, well, we'll see. You see. And if I hope a... to break the pattern. Uh, but you obviously don't mind a baldy. No, of course not. So that's hope for the baldies of the world. If they're interested in me, I guess so. Because I thought I'd maybe suggest a few for you, you see, because I believe he's still single. Have a look. There, oh, okay. <laughs> no interest? He's married. He's not, no, he's split up. Oh. What about Bruce? Your Bruce is sexy, isn't he? They're a bit old, I think. A bit old, okay. For me. Have a look at this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually, David. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Okay, uh, you know so. What's funny though, 
know, the first job we ever worked on, you actually said to me, whatever you do, I think I was like 17 at the time. Okay, now we should explain this. Many years ago, I met, this sounds dodgy, doesn't it? No. <laughs> uh, I made a TV commercial and I was lucky enough to make it and Kelly made the TV commercial. We did a TV commercial together for, it was for, um, was it for... It was for Shaw Deodorant. It was for Shaw Deodorant, okay? Yes. And we weren't the sweaty ones, it was someone else in it was sweaty, <laughs> okay? Uh, and so what I say? You, so you were just 17, yeah, my God, yeah, I didn't so know Yeah, so it was like one of young. my first jobs, and um, Jonathan was kind enough to give me some advice and set me on my way, and his, I his said, just key... lie still and it'll be over very quickly. Was that what it was? That it? <laughs> and I think your key, your, your key thing was uh, just stay away from Mick Hucknall. <laughs> <laughs> Did I actually say that to you? You did, which was great, because if I had gone near him, maybe my life would have taken a whole new direction. Blimey. So I owe everything to you. <laughs> well, I'm glad I, I was uh, a fond of such wisdom. Uh, was that the best I could do? Stay away from Mick Hutton or no, right. Okay. Uh, well, but you have done tremendously well for yourself, and quite rightly. Uh, you, you've kind of done a lot of things. You mentioned uh, you had a holiday this summer, but also you, you hosted a TV show. Yeah, Dirty Dancing Time of Your Life, which is um, coming out on Living. So this is on the Living TV channel yes. over here. I like Living TV. It's normally a, it's a lot of things to do with ghosts and makeovers. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's like, it's, you know, lots of girly I, shows. I like and them. Um, and so this is, uh, this is a dancing-based thing, is it? Yeah, it's, um, it's a reality show, and I'm one of the main judges. And we take a group of dancers to... Um, the actual place where they filmed the movie Dirty Dancing. So the band stands there. Well, it's a bit, it's, so it's kind of, it's set in a kind of a holiday, uh, yes, summer holiday resort, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. So we kind of recreate with the dancers all the, you know, iconic moments from the film. They, we do the log dance, we do the lake lift. And, uh, and it's you just do the like bit at the end when Patrick Sazy runs, runs down that and he sort of runs down like this, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. We can do it. Do you want to try and do the lake lift? Do you think we should What's do the it? Lake lift? Is that, is this it where he, is that it there? I'm sure you could do that. Do you think you're strong enough to I'm do so, that? I'd sort of certainly thing? like to give it a try, Kelly. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do it the safe way first. I okay. think if you lie down on the floor. So I lie down on the floor? <laughs> Come on! Wait, okay. No one puts baby in the corner. Come on. Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we hope so. Oh Never mind, we can edit. Please edit this. Oh, blimey. Oh, okay, wait a Well, I can't reach there. Yeah. Okay, I've got you. What do you blame me? Oh, don't use that for God's sake, that was awful. <laughs> Whatever you do, stay away from Mick Huckle. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Blimey, OK. So we'll calm down a bit now. Um, let's have a look. So you, they're, they're looking for uh, a boy, like the Patrick Swayze character. Yes. Uh, and a girl. Who played that in the movie? I can't remember the name uh, of the actress. Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey, of course. So you're looking for someone like that. And what are, what are the winners of this? So it's a reality show. What do they get out of it? So they basically win a year contract with the Block Dance Agency in Los Angeles. Wow. So, so it's, a, it's an amazing prize because... These dancers are like 19, 20 years old and it can completely change their life. Could transform it. Yeah, okay, I'm out of breath. I've, got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little bit left if you want some more. <laughs> we can go again, but it will take me a bit longer. <laughs> uh, okay, let's have a look at a clip. Oh, and then what's it called again? The thing? Dirty Dancing Time of Your Life. Dirty Dancing Time of Your Life. This is on Living TV with the lovely Kelly Booking. Have a look at this. That's uh, the Dirty Dancing Time of Your Life, is that right? Yeah. Okay, Dirty Dancing Time of Your Life, you it. Uh, it must be quite... So, here's the thing where I think it makes sense you doing that, of course, because you were so spectacular on Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, I'm sure if you saw Kelly, you know, she was just fabulous on that. And, and you had a terrible personal thing happen in your life. You had to leave early, which was a terrible shame. Um, but you must have enjoyed the experience. You must have enjoyed doing that dancing. Oh, I loved it. Course. I mean, it was really, really hard work, and the pressure is just immense. And I think when you first sign on to do it, you think you're just going to have fun, and it's, you know, it's really not going to take up that much time. But 
everyone gets really competitive and you know if someone's putting in more hours than you you really need to do the work and so does it really are some people just because some people you can see at the beginning when you see the lineup of the people sign up you know some people are, are going to have probably a fairer crack at it than others you know and, and uh, you know obviously if they're a little bit younger a little bit fitter and a little bit more you know maybe they've done a bit of dancing you know there's a chance for that um but but once you get into the competition i guess it really is the time you put in would i be right well yeah but also i think it's a bit of a personality contest as well because um you know people need to kind of warm to you and they, they're going to have to vote for you yeah. so you have people kind of bringing in their dogs and having their family there and showing their children you know yeah. just to try and get people to like like them which a bit I, of the sympathy vote going a on a little bit there. which yeah. you know so it, it's so it's hard because you know, you just really want to go out there and be judged on the performance, but you know, there's all the other side that goes into but it. But I loved watching you because you always did a, quite a lot of the acting when you were doing it. It was quite a lot of the drama. <laughs> Cause, going uh, on. Yeah, because yeah. Brendan, I don't know, he's quite theatrical and he really kind of choreographs his dances that way. And um, so it was, it was good fun because you could get into that character. You're going to be in the Christmas special of Strictly Come Dance? Yes, I am, yeah. Uh, and who are you with? Are you with Brendan again? Well, depending. If Brendan's still in the competition, then I'll be dancing with someone else. But I was so pleased they asked me back because I loved it so much last year. Well, you must, I can imagine, especially for a young lady, if you're that kind of thing the glamour the fashion getting your hair and makeup done being out there performing in those it must be a and i know you love 40s movies and 50s yeah, movies absolutely. so to, to have a way of like you know kind of bringing that back to life yeah and it has that kind of old variety show feel and i don't think there's anything on tv like that anymore no. you know with the live band and yeah. just the energy and the excitement anticipation of the whole thing so uh, you're on the west end let's talk about this you're going to be doing some uh, and this is in a i haven't seen this play it came out it got some great reviews yeah. it's called fat pig yeah i'm taking over from joanna page who's fantastic in the show, so it's a little daunting, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's like my first kind of proper West End thing. But you've been, haven't you been on the West End stage before? I was at the Riverside, like, a few years ago, yeah, but yeah. this is, you know, at the Comedy Theatre and... And this is, from the sound of things, a better part as well. It sounds like a pretty big part in this thing. Yeah, it's quite a main part, okay. yeah. Is it, is it a comedy, or is it a comedy drama, I guess, is it? Um, it's like a dark comedy, I'd say. Um, it's about, um, I basically play a character that's in love with a guy in, in the office she works with and he's actually in love with somebody else who happens to be a larger lady. Uh, and so, the, and socially people think he shouldn't give up you for larger lady, why is he doing that? Yeah. So it examines the kind of prejudice Absolutely. involved in that. Yeah. It sounds interesting. It is interesting yeah. and very funny as well. Now, are you going to sort of, um, because you, you, you do a lot of things. We've talked about you've done some TV work here. Yeah. Uh, you're doing stage acting, you've made movies, you've got a perfume out. I don't, you've never done a book yet, have you? Or have you? Um, yeah, last year I bought it. There you go, done I, a book as well. Okay. <laughs> if you had to choose just one thing, yeah. if I had to say, okay, you can do the dancing, or you can, uh, you can do writing, or you can perform on stage, or make movies, or host TV shows, what would it be if you had to choose just one? Oh, definitely the dancing, yes. 100%. Same here. <laughs> Especially that move. <laughs> uh, Kelly, as always, it's lovely to spend some time with you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Kelly Brook. Thank you, Kelly. Uh -oh. and thank you for the marvellous memory. <laughs>